Hey guys and welcome to a brand new video here on FBL Now. Today we're going to be going over a potential free hit draft for blank game week 29. So if you're excited for the video, drop a like down below. Leave a comment. Are you thinking of free hitting this week? Subscribe if you're brand new and let's get into the video. So starting things off, I will go over my team selection and everything like that in tomorrow's video. I've been away on a stag day, which is why there hasn't been any videos. I'm not having the greatest game week. I didn't have Youngman's son, so that's really, really hurt me. I think I'm down to like 4K or something like that from 2K, so not ideal. But either way, we'll go over all of that and my plans and everything in tomorrow's video. But let's talk about the free hit right now. In goal, we do have Flecken and Leno. Um, I, I just think Flecken is probably the best goalkeeper you could have this week. I don't think there's going to be really any defenses keeping a clean sheet at all uh, but Flecken I would probably say has the highest chance Burnley away probably the best fixture from a defensive standpoint on paper uh, Leno is just there as well just in case you, you know you want to play somebody a little bit different uh, but you could go Ariola or something like that if you wanted to I'm expecting Villa to score though I'm expecting Spurs to score obviously I'm expecting a lot of players to score this week like, I, I just don't think there's going to be that many clean sheets but I think if you want to throw your hat in the ring and take a bit of a gamble on someone that's probably going to keep one, it would be Flecken. And the thing is, a lot of people are not going to own Flecken as well. A lot of people are going to own Ariola, and, you know, he's probably not going to do much this week. So uh, I don't think it's a week where you really have to go again, where you really have to go with the crowd. You're on a free hit. It's nice to take a couple of gambles as well, a couple of little punts and everything like that. So, yeah, Flecken for me is the goalkeeper. Again, I've got 11.9 mil in the bank, so it doesn't really matter which goalkeeper combination you have. You don't really have to save money anyway because all of the most expensive players in FPL are just not playing this week. So uh, that's why I just go with um, with Flecken as my goalkeeper. At the back, we've got Regulon. Now, this is obviously um, a bit of a, a bit of a risky one, really. You just kind of have to wait and see if he's playing. Uh, you, there are obviously other good options as well that you could play. But Regulon, if he does play, is definitely going to be a, a one to be on like most free hit or at least all free hit drafts if he is confirmed to play just simply because he's going to be one of the better defenders to own this week. He's on set pieces. Um, a lot of Brentford's goals do come from like set pieces and stuff like that so yeah i think regulon is a, a really really nice option but obviously did not play in the last game because of that hamstring injury he's got a 75 percent chance of playing again i've been away so i've not really seen like uh, what managers have really been saying and stuff um, but the fact that he's 75 percent chance means that there is a good chance that he could potentially play um, but even if he doesn't you know, you can still have a decent defender coming off the bench um, just to kind of take his place. Also got Castagna as well. A little bit of a differential this week. Um, again, the main defenders people are going to play are Regulon, Doughty, and either Udogi or Poro. Um, but obviously, if, you know, Regulon doesn't play, you can have Castagna coming off the bench for him. You can have Williams coming off the bench for him. Um, it, it's, it's really uh, up to you. There's other defenders as well that you could play. Like, obviously, if, Re if it's confirmed that Regulon's not playing, you just play a different, like, Brentford defender. Um, obviously, it's not ideal that like Ben Mee isn't playing and stuff like that because that would be a really good option this week on, on a free hit. But you can always just play a different uh, Brentford player. That's the, the beauty of the free hit. You can literally just bring in anyone in, in, in regards to like certain news and stuff like that. So, yeah, I would I would go with a different Brentford player. But if you want to take a gamble on Regulon, um, then, yeah, you, you could also do that. I mean, you could also just bring in a different goalkeeper and not fleck in and then just have like your first sub being a Burnley player as uh, a uh, Brentford player as well. And then if Regulon doesn't play, you just have another Brentford player come on. Um, but that would just kind of mean that you don't have the double Brentford defense, which I think is a pretty good shout this week. But anyway, yeah, we've got Regulon, Castagna as well, just a bit of a differential. Doughty as well is another player that a lot of people are going to be playing on free hit this week. Forest at home is a really, really nice um, fixture. It's going to be a massive fixture as well. Um, especially as a Forest fan, it is something that we definitely need to win. But I'm very worried about the fixture. But yeah, I think Doughty could definitely get something this week. I don't think there'll be a clean sheet. I think both teams will score this week. But uh, with Doughty on set pieces and stuff like that, he's definitely uh, a player that's going to be super highly owned. And yeah, could definitely damage the... Uh, the, the forest goal uh, we've also got williams as well he's just a, a forest player defender that you could play again he's just probably going to be on your bench regardless because as i say you're probably going to be playing regular on doughty and poro this week um but yeah williams just a, a cheap defender you can play off your bench he's been really good for us as well lately um as well and he seems to have secured that uh spot as well so uh yeah hopefully he just keeps playing well and uh hopefully we can get uh something from him but yeah he's just obviously on the bench right now and then poro uh, arguably one of the best defenders to have this week did just get a seven pointer um against villa i mean that villa game was crazy four nil uh away at villa is uh a, is a bit of a shocking result really because spurs aren't ideal away from home and obviously villa are really good at home so yeah four nil is absolutely insane obviously the red card did not help villa at all but 
I, I think Spurs just ran that game even before the the the, the McGinn red card anyway. But uh, yeah, Poro, Udogi, it's up to you. Uh, I just like Poro as an option. Poro's in my team. I've kept him from now. Uh, I kept him from when I brought him in. So now I haven't got rid of him and still forget because I'll game week 29. And like I said, I'd committed to not playing my free hits. So um, yeah, Poro, I think is a really nice option this week, 100%. In midfield, we've got Sun, Douglas Louise, uh, Madison, Gibbs White, and uh, Jared Bowen as well. So we've got a few penalty takers in this midfield here. Um, we do have Sun, who obviously is on penalties, uh, most likely going to be the captaincy for you this week as well whether you are on free hit or not i feel like you cannot go without sun this week he's going to be so highly owned he's gonna like i say probably be a lot of people's captains um it's just too risky to not have him i'll be bringing him in this week 1000 percent i'll probably give him the captaincy armband uh but yeah he's obviously on penalties best player to own this week definitely has to be in your squad uh douglas louise with west ham away again like i say he's on penalties um he, he could maybe nick a goal you never know um but he's been pretty good recently but uh like i say on penalties it's just something like in a week where there's only four fixtures penalty takers are even better to own uh, in my opinion just because it's it's not obviously guaranteed points, but it's like, it's just an extra kind of beneficial factor to have that player in your team. So that's why I've gone Douglas Louise over any of the other midfielders. Uh, also got Madison as well. I think that Madison and Sun combo is uh, ideal. Again, you could go somebody like Johnson as well. If you didn't want to go um, a, for a Spurs defender, uh, you could bring in a Johnson or a Kulisevsky. Obviously, Richarlison uh, looks like he's not going to be making this fixture. He might, you never know, but um, yeah, like... I, 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 don't, I just think Sun and Madison are the main Spurs players you really want to own. And then, yeah, if you did want to go for a defender, I think Poro is probably the best as well, or Udogi. But if you wanted to go three Spurs players, you could always get rid of uh, somebody like Gibbs White or someone and just bring in, um, like, say, a Johnson or someone like that. But either way, Sun, Douglas Ruiz, Madison, Gibbs White, also on penalties, 5.7. Very much a differential this week as well. And I feel like if you're on a free hit, I feel like you, you, you kind of need to go for a couple of differentials because they could really, really help the free hit. Like, obviously, on a free hit, you just gaining points anyway like you've got 11 playing players obviously some people are going to be taking hits as well to bring in like um eight players or something like that like i'll be taking a hit a hit this a hit this week and i'll only have eight players playing so already you know if you're on a free hit that's if if you have three extra players and they do nothing there's still an extra six points than me plus my minus four that's 10 points right there so you know the free hit is beneficial but obviously i'm just hoping that it benefits me more in game week 34 which is why i'm doing it and i've also got i've already got like six players anyway so obviously my free transfer will be seven my hit will be eight and i'll own the main players that you need like i'll basically own the players that most people have on their free hit draft except for the differentials basically but yeah gibbs white like I say on penalties could get something against luton on set pieces uh our best player by far so yeah, completely would like to see him on a free hit draft. And then also gone Bowen as well. Uh, I really like Bowen as an option. Again, uh, did score that hat-trick recently. Uh, didn't get anything in the Burnley fixture, which was not ideal. But uh, has started returning again. Like I say, got an assist against Everton. Not on penalties, unfortunately. But um, yeah, for Villa at home, it's not the best fixture. But they have just been spanked 4-0. So you never know. Maybe Bowen will get something against, uh, against uh, Villa. Anyway, though, that's the midfield. That's the defenders. That's the goalkeepers. And then up top, it kind of just writes itself. Uh, you're basically just going to be playing Watkins and Tony. Uh, obviously, you could play Morris if you wanted to as well. You could go for a 3-4-3. Three, three, um, but I like the 3-5-2 formation. I mean, Morris, I believe, is on penalties as well. So you could just bring him in if you really wanted to instead of Gibbs White or instead of Douglas Luiz, something like that. But yeah, I think 3-5-2 is, is really, really nice this week. So yeah, Watkins and Tony being the, the, the players you'd play. And then obviously, if anything happens to them, Morris can come on. Um, but yeah, they've all got pretty nice fixtures as well. Like T Tony with Burnley away, Morris with um, Forrest at home and then Watkins with uh, West Ham away as well. So, yeah, that's the, that's the free hit draft that I've kind of come up with. Obviously, there's a couple of other players that you, you could also always swap out, but I think the most nailed template players would be Watkins, Tony, Sun, Madison, uh, probably Bowen, and then Regulon and Dowerty. So, seven players there that you kind of... Oh, and probably Poro as well. That's probably eight players there that are going to be on most free hit drafts. Um, and then the other three, you kind of just kind of pick and choose really who you want, but... Yeah, I mean, I, I, if you're not on a free hit draft and you're going to be owning at least like six or seven of those, like eight players, I think you're fine. Like for me, I already own Dowerty, Poro. Um, I'll own Sun. Uh, obviously, I already own Douglas Luiz. I already own Bowen. I already own Watkins. I'm going to be bringing Tony in. So I own seven of the players um, that are going to be really highly owned the only player that i don't own is madison so he could really really hurt me 100 but apart from that let's just hope that my free hit uh, does well in game week 34 but anyway that's gonna be everything for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed like i say there'll be team selection everything um next week 
next week tomorrow i should say um like videos will be normal now so we'll do team selection tomorrow um i don't even know what day it is right now transfer targets final team selection all that stuff would just be normal we'll just order is going to be resumed right now so anyway if you enjoyed the video drop a like leave a comment subscribe if you're brand new and until next time peace